Welcome, dear listeners, to another enchanting tale from the bedtime bookshelf. Tonight, we'll journey to Moonhaven, a mesmerizing island bathed in perpetual moonlight. Amidst its glowing flora and shimmering waters, we'll meet Luna, a young girl with a destiny intertwined with the very heart of her homeland. As the notes of an ancient melody unfold, we'll explore themes of faith, unity, and perseverance. So snuggle up, let go of the day's worries, and allow the luminescent tales of the Aria Protocol to carry you away into dreams. The world contained many marvels, but none quite as mesmerizing as Moonhaven. Nestled far from bustling continents and roaring seas, this solitary island was a realm bathed in silver. As though cradled by the heavens themselves, it basked perpetually under the gentle embrace of moonlight. Each evening, as darkness tried to claim the sky, the island resisted, illuminated by a moon that never waned. It shone with an ethereal brilliance, painting every corner of Moonhaven with strokes of luminescent magic. Trees bore leaves that shimmered with iridescent hues, and the very sands of its beaches sparkled like a tapestry of countless diamonds. But it wasn't just the physical beauty of Moonhaven that entranced the soul, it was the air itself. It whispered ancient tales to those who'd listened, stories of ages gone by, and of the celestial bond between the island and its eternal sentinel above. The dwellers of Moonhaven, a people with eyes reflecting the moon's own gleam, lived their lives in harmony with this nocturnal ballet. They built their homes using silvery woods and luminescent stones, ensuring that every abode, from the humblest hut to the grandest mansion, sang in harmony with the land. Rivers meandering through the island carried waters that glowed softly, creating serpentine ribbons of light across the landscape. In the stillness of the night, these waters sang their own soft lullaby, a song of peace, of times eternal, and of the island's moonlit embrace. As enchanting as the nights of Moonhaven were, its days were no less magical. The sun did rise, but the moon never set, creating a delicate balance of light and shadow, day and night. It was said that the very heart of Moonhaven pulsed with the rhythm of this celestial dance. In this realm of endless twilight and starlit nights, life thrived, and at the center of it all was the vibrant heartbeat of its people, who cherished and revered the gifts their island bestowed upon them. They would soon discover, however, that every gift, no matter how wondrous, came with its own set of challenges. And for young Luna, the greatest challenge was yet to come. Moonhaven, though it pulsed with ancient mysteries, was home to the simple joys of life for young Luna. Every house in Moonhaven, including Luna's, was constructed with care to honor the island's ethereal beauty. Her abode was a quaint cottage nestled by the edge of a shimmering river, its walls adorned with intricate carvings of stars and celestial tales. Luna's family consisted of her wise father, Alaric, who was the village's primary historian, her doting mother, Selene, a herbalist known for her miraculous remedies, and her playful younger brother, Orion, who, despite his tender age, was quite the explorer. Days in the household were filled with laughter and shared stories. Alaric would recount tales of Moonhaven's past, stories that danced between myth and reality, while Celine would share anecdotes of the rare herbs she discovered and the people she'd helped. Orion, with his insatiable curiosity, always had an adventure to share, often leaving his family in stitches with his animated retellings. Amidst this, Luna found her own voice, not in words, but in melodies. Music was Luna's secret passion. Every evening, after the day's chores, she would steal away to her clandestine refuge, a hidden cove by the coast, shielded from the world by towering cliffs and whispering willows. Here, the rhythmic dance of waves against the shore provided the backdrop to Luna's compositions. In her hideaway, Luna possessed an instrument unique to Moonhaven, the Lunaria. Crafted from the gleaming woods of the island and strings made from moonbeams, it resonated with ethereal notes. As she played, every pluck, every chord, 
seem to capture the very essence of Moonhaven itself. From the gentle rustling of the silver-leaved trees to the soft murmurs of the glowing rivers, her music was a reflection of her home. Often, her best friend Caelan would join her, with his voice that echoed the deep resonances of the night sky. Their duets were a blend of Moonhaven's serene beauty and the boundless mysteries of the universe. Yet for all the joy that music brought her, Luna kept her compositions a secret from most, sharing them only with Caleb. She feared that her melodies, which poured from the deepest corners of her heart, might not find acceptance in the broader world. But as the days passed, the pull to share her music grew stronger, hinting at a destiny intertwined with the very soul of Moonhaven. One evening, as Luna strummed her Lunaria, lost in her music by the coast, Alaric approached her, bearing an old tome with the emblem of a moon embossed on its aged leather cover. The pages within were yellowed with time, each one inscribed with the elegant script of Moonhaven's ancestors. Luna, he began, his voice soft, carrying the weight of ages. There's a tale that has been passed down through our family, a tale intertwined with the very heart of Moonhaven. Tonight, I feel it's time you heard it. With the gentle crash of waves as their backdrop, Alaric began to unravel the ancient lore. Many eons ago, he started, Moonhaven was like any other island, touched by the sun's golden rays by day and shrouded in darkness by night. But a celestial event changed everything. He described a night when the skies above Moonhaven danced with ethereal colors, and a shimmering moon, unlike any other, took its place in the heavens. This was no ordinary moon, but one that burned with a silver-blue flame, casting perpetual moonlight over Moonhaven. The ancient scrolls, Alaric continued, flipping through the tome, speak of the moon's promise. They foretell that in every few generations, a voice will emerge, one that resonates with the island's core. This voice, when paired with a heart true to Moonhaven, holds the power to usher in monumental change, be it prosperity or peril. Luna listened intently, her fingers absent-mindedly brushing against the Lunaria strings, creating a soft, echoing melody. But how will one know this voice? She inquired, her azure eyes filled with curiosity. Alaric smiled, placing a gentle hand on her shoulder. The voice, dear Luna, will harmonize with the very song of the moon. When the Chosen One sings, the island will echo back, the waters will ripple in rhythm, and the age-old trees will sway in tune. But with great power comes great responsibility. The song can either be Moonhaven's salvation or its undoing. The tale left Luna in profound thought. She gazed up at the ever-present moon, its silver glow bathing her in a luminous embrace. The weight of the law, the responsibility it hinted at, and the deep connection she felt with the island's song now seemed more significant than ever. Little did she realize then how closely her destiny was tied to the ancient prophecy. One evening, after her conversation with Alaric, Luna was lost in thought, her fingers idly playing a soft melody on her Lunaria. She felt a peculiar tingle, an almost magnetic pull drawing her to the mirror pond, a secluded water body known to reflect not just appearances, but deep-rooted truths. The pond, enveloped by willowy trees with silver leaves, was said to be as old as Moonhaven itself. With the Lunaria in tow, Luna reached the pond's edge. The water, illuminated under the perpetual moonlight, glimmered with a myriad of twinkling lights. Gently setting aside her instrument, she knelt by the water, her reflection staring back. Yet, as the ripples settled, something changed. Instead of her familiar visage, Luna saw herself, but older, more ethereal, with a luminous crescent moon mark glowing on her forehead. Startled, she touched her brow, and to her amazement, felt a distinct mark. Rushing to her secret hideaway, she used a polished piece of obsidian to glimpse her reflection. There, to her astonishment, was a faint crescent moon birthmark, previously unnoticed. Luna's heart raced as she remembered tales whispered among the village folk. They spoke of the Chosen One, 
a figure marked by the moon, destined to play a role in Moonhaven's future. The tales mentioned the birthmark as the moon's own signature, a sign that the person was bound by fate to the island's ancient prophecy. Confused and overwhelmed, Luna decided to confide in her most trusted companion, her grandmother, Mirella. Mirella, a repository of Moonhaven's lore and legends, listened intently as Luna recounted her discovery. Gazing deep into Luna's eyes, Mirella spoke with a gravity Luna had seldom heard before. Destiny, dear child, has a unique way of revealing itself. This mark, she said, touching the crescent on Luna's forehead, is not just a sign but a responsibility. The tales are true, and if they are to be believed, you have a role in the story of Moonhaven yet to unfold. Luna, her emotions a whirlwind of excitement, fear and curiosity, clutched her Lunaria close. She realized that her connection to the island ran deeper than she had ever imagined. The moon song, which she had felt in her heart for so long, was now etched onto her very skin, binding her to a destiny grander than her melodies. Moonhaven, though serene and isolated, had its moments of joyous uproar, and none was grander than the Festival of Moonglow. A tradition older than the oldest tree on the island, the festival celebrated the bond between Moonhaven and its guardian moon. As the law went, the first inhabitants of Moonhaven had started this festival as a token of gratitude to the moon, which provided them with its mystical light, keeping away the darkness and the unknown that came with it. The heart of Njotsil Square, usually a quiet marketplace, was transformed into a radiant carnival ground. Silvery streamers hung from the homes, and every corner had lanterns that mimicked the moon's glow. Food stalls offered delicacies that sparkled under the moonlight, and children ran about with painted faces, their laughter echoing in the night. But the highlight of the festival was the musical performance at the moonlit stage, a platform carved from luminous moonstones. The honor to perform was given to one individual, chosen by the village council, who showcased not just their musical prowess, but their deep connection to Moonhaven's spirit. This year, with her exceptional gift with the Lunaria and her unique bond with the moon's legacy, Luna was the chosen performer. The news was delivered by Councillor Elowen, a tall figure with flowing silver hair, wearing robes that shimmered like the night sky. Luna, Elowen began, her voice carrying the weight of the tradition. Moonhaven has seen your passion, heard your melodies, and felt your spirit. This moon glow, the island wishes to hear the song of your heart. Luna, overwhelmed by the honor and the responsibility, nodded, her heart brimming with emotion. Her family, bursting with pride, embraced her, offering words of encouragement and love. The days leading up to her performance saw Luna immerse herself in her music, often visiting her hideaway or the mirror pond for inspiration. She wasn't just composing a tune, she was weaving the story of Moonhaven, her story, into a symphony that would resonate with every heart on the island. As the festival's main evening approached, the air was thick with anticipation. The moonlit stage, under the open sky, awaited its star performer, and as Luna stepped onto it, Lunaria in hand, she felt a connection, a bridge between the past, present, and the mysterious future she was yet to uncover. The evening had cooled as Luna stepped onto the moonlit stage. The inhabitants of Moonhaven formed a shimmering sea of faces, their expressions a mix of expectation and pride. The gentle waves from the surrounding sea added a soft, rhythmic backdrop to the scene. Luna took a deep breath, her fingers gently caressing the Lunaria. Her mother, standing at the forefront of the crowd, gave her an encouraging nod. You've got this, dear heart whispered her father, his voice carrying the strength she needed. Amara, one of Luna's closest friends, shouted excitedly, Let the moon hear you, Luna! With a final deep breath, Luna began. The first notes, gentle and soft, floated into the air. As she progressed, her tune became more complex, resonating with her emotions, her joys, her sorrows, and her dreams. The Lunaria strings seemed to sing on their own, echoing her heart's deepest melodies. 
The crowd was transfixed. The raw emotion, the passion, and the profound connection between Luna and her instrument were palpable. Elders who had seen countless Moonglow festivals felt something different, something powerful in Luna's music. It was as if the very soul of Moonhaven was being sung. Mid-performance, Luna felt a pull, a unique connection with the moon. She looked up, her eyes locking with the silvery orb. It felt closer, more vibrant, reacting to her song. The air grew dense with magic, and the moon began to pulsate, its glow intensifying with every note Luna played. Luna sang a haunting verse, her voice intertwining with the Lunaria's strings. Moon above, heart below, hear my song, let your light grow. Through ages past and futures near, guide our path, make it clear. As the last note lingered, a blinding beam of light descended from the moon, engulfing the entire island. The crowd gasped, shielding their eyes. The very fabric of Moonhaven seemed to vibrate, resonating with Luna's song. When the light dimmed, the moon had transformed, no longer just a silvery orb. It now had intricate patterns glowing on its surface, mirroring the design of Luna's birthmark. The island was awash with whispers. Councillor Elowen, stepping forward with widened eyes, spoke in a voice filled with wonder. The prophecy. Luna, you've awakened Moonhaven's ancient magic. Luna, equally stunned, whispered, I just played my heart out. I didn't expect. Her mother approached, embracing Luna. You did more than just play, my love. You've connected with the very essence of Moonhaven. Luna looked at the transformed moon, realization dawning. Her music, her birthmark, the moon's reaction. It all meant something profound, setting her on a path she hadn't anticipated. The festival of Moonglow had become a night that Moonhaven would never forget. The morning following the festival, Luna awoke to an unfamiliar dimness. As she blinked open her eyes, she found the room bathed in an eerie, subdued light. She hurriedly moved to the window, the soft fabric of her nightgown billowing around her. Moonhaven, which had always shimmered under the benevolent glow of its namesake, was now cast in silhouettes and half-light. The moon, their ever-constant guardian, was being overshadowed by an unknown celestial body, causing a deep and unsettling eclipse. Panic and murmurs spread through Moonhaven like wildfire. From the central squares to the distant hills, everyone stepped out of their homes, their faces turned skywards, eyes filled with confusion and dread. The silvery waters of the surrounding sea reflected the unusual darkness, its waves seeming more aggressive than usual. Luna's parents, Alaric and Isolde, stepped out, their expressions mirroring the collective unease. This is unprecedented, Alaric whispered, his normally firm voice tinged with concern. Isolde, her arm instinctively wrapping around Luna, replied, The tales spoke of Moonhaven's eternal light. There was no mention of an eclipse. Luna felt an odd connection, a pull towards the event. Could it be related to last night? She questioned hesitantly. Before anyone could respond, Councillor Elowen, her robe fluttering dramatically, arrived at their doorstep. Luna, I had feared this might be tied to the prophecy. But fear not, every shadow passes. We must understand its message. Children, holding on to their parents, looked up with curiosity and fear. Elders whispered among themselves, recalling old tales and legends, while some of the island's scholars hurriedly skimmed through ancient scrolls, seeking an explanation. Amara approached Luna, her usually cheerful face now marred with worry. Do you think this is because of last night? Because of your song? Luna sighed deeply, feeling the weight of responsibility. I don't know, Amara, but I need to find out. As the island grappled with the sudden darkness, Luna felt a deep resolve. The eclipse was not just a celestial event. It was a puzzle, a challenge, and perhaps even a warning and she was right at its heart. The village square of Moonhaven became a bustling epicenter of activity and debate. At its center stood the ancient gathering stone, a relic from times long past. 
Here the Council of Elders convened, their silvery robes reflecting the diminished light, their faces etched with deep lines of contemplation. Luna, escorted by her parents and Amara, made her way to the Gathering Stone, curious about the discussions and the decisions that would be made. The murmurs grew louder, forming a tapestry of concern, speculation, and even blame. Elder Thrain, a man of many winters and vast knowledge, raised his hand for silence. His voice, usually calm, carried a hint of urgency. We must consider the events of last evening, Luna's song, its haunting melody, and the immediate aftermath. Another elder, Mylis, added, In our chronicles, there's mention of a celestial dance, a play of light and shadow. The chosen voice was said to hold power, a power that could influence the very heavens. Luna felt hundreds of eyes turn to her. She held her ground, her voice steady. I sang from the heart, inspired by our tales, our history. I meant no harm. Elder Neria, with hair like cascading moonlight, stepped forward, her demeanor gentle. We do not blame you, child, but it is evident that your song, combined with the crescent mark, holds a significance we might not fully grasp. Luna's father, Alaric, interjected, If there's a connection, then there might be a way to reverse or at least understand this eclipse. Instead of panicking, we should seek answers. Elder Thrain nodded, Agreed. Luna, your song has touched the cosmos. We need to delve deep into our archives, decipher our oldest legends, and find a path forward. Luna took a deep breath, her heart heavy but determined. I'll do whatever it takes. Moonhaven is my home, and I will find a way to restore its light. The murmurs of agreement and hope spread through the crowd, a collective will to face the challenge ahead. Moonhaven's Grand Library was a veritable trove of wisdom and wonder. Luna often found solace among its shelves, losing herself in tales of old. Today, though, her steps were hesitant, burdened by the shadows that now dappled her beloved island. She sought out the one person she knew held answers, her grandmother, Nivara. Tucked away in the quietest corner of the library was Nivara, immersed in an ancient scroll, its pages brittle with age. The elder woman, with hair as silver as the moonlit sea, looked up as Luna approached, her eyes filled with understanding and compassion. Oh, my dear, Nivara whispered, rising and pulling Luna into a warm embrace. I heard about the Council's discussion. I want you to know that not all secrets of our isle are recorded for all to see. Some tales, she said, tapping her temple and heart, are passed down through whispers and memories. Luna looked up her cerulean eyes searching her grandmother's. Tell me, grandmother, tell me what I must know. Nivara beckoned Luna to sit and began. Long ago, when Moonhaven was but a whisper of its current self, the moon and our island shared a bond deeper than any other. They sang together, danced together, and in this dance was a harmony that echoed through time. Luna, enraptured, listened intently as her grandmother continued. The prophecy speaks of a voice, Born under the crescent mark, who can touch the very heart of our moon? It's neither a boon nor a curse, but a call to understand that connection. But why did the moon fade during my song? Luna asked, the weight of responsibility heavy on her shoulders. Nivara sighed. The song wasn't the cause, dear one. The moon responds to emotions, to intent. Perhaps it sensed a shift, a change. It's not a punishment, but a message, a beginning of a new chapter for Moonhaven. Luna felt a glimmer of hope. So, it can be undone? Nivara smiled. Perhaps not undone, but understood and embraced. Your journey, Luna, is just beginning. Listen to the moon, to your heart, and together you'll find the path forward. With renewed determination, Luna held her grandmother's hands, ready to embrace the challenges ahead and rediscover the lost harmony between Moonhaven and the moon. In the subsequent days, Moonhaven was astir with apprehension, but a beacon of hope still glimmered. That beacon was Luna's quest for understanding and the solution to the moon's sudden eclipse. As she scoured the vast library, she came across a section of age-old songs and hymns dedicated to the island and its ethereal satellite. 
a particular tome bound in moon silver leather caught her attention. The title read, Harmonies of the Heart and Sky. Luna opened it to find notations of various musical compositions, each more captivating than the last. However, in the middle of the book, a page was torn out, leaving only remnants of a once carefully inscribed melody. Nivara, noticing Luna's puzzled expression, walked over and studied the incomplete notes. Ah, the lullaby of Lumina, she mused, her voice holding a touch of melancholy. It said that this melody was so intertwined with the moon's essence that singing it had the power to mend fractures in the celestial realm. Why is it torn? Luna asked, her heart racing with anticipation. Nivara hesitated. Centuries ago, out of fear that the song's power could be misused, the elders decided to keep it safe. They divided the song, entrusting fragments to different guardians. Luna's eyes sparkled with determination. Then I must find these guardians and piece the lullaby back together. Nivara nodded approvingly. It's a daunting task, my dear. The guardians are now mere whispers of legends, hidden in the nooks and crannies of Moonhaven. But with the lullaby, Luna voiced with hope, we can bring back the moon's light. Nivara smiled. Yes, with the right heart and intent, you can restore the balance. But remember, it's not just the notes, but the emotions and purity with which they're sung that will make all the difference. With a newfound mission, Luna set her heart and mind on finding the fragments of the lullaby of Lumina to once again intertwine the destinies of Moonhaven and its guardian moon. Moonhaven, though primarily known for its resplendent moon, also held other wonders, and one such marvel was the Temple Library of Moonsong. Perched atop a cliff overlooking the vast silvery sea, the temple was a repository of Moonhaven's profound wisdom, its exterior glowing faintly, mirroring the moon's luminance. Accompanying Luna on this expedition was Ilara, her childhood confidant and partner in countless escapades. Ilara, with her raven black hair contrasting Luna's silvery locks, was a beacon of strength and wit. The two had forged an unbreakable bond over the years, and now, facing the island's gravest challenge, their unity was more crucial than ever. The coastal caves of Moonhaven were not a place the residents frequented often. A series of interconnected caverns, their interiors shimmered with iridescent crystals, reflecting the moon's glow in a spectacle of colors. The constant echo of waves gave the caves an eerie but rhythmic resonance. As Luna and Alara ventured deeper, they were met with an ornate archway adorned with the emblem of the tide, just as depicted in the temple fresco. Intricate patterns danced around the emblem, presenting a sequence of notes arranged in a circle. These must be the notes of the melody we're searching for, Luna whispered, trying to trace them with her fingers. But it wasn't that simple. Each note, when pressed, changed its position in the sequence, setting forth a challenging puzzle. Ilara, ever the tactician, began humming the resonance of the caves, trying to match it to the sequence. The caves themselves, Luna, she said, they hold the key. We need to match the cave's resonance to these notes. With that realization, Luna closed her eyes, letting the sound of the echoing waves guide her. She gently touched each note in succession, feeling rather than seeing their pattern. The notes harmonized with the waves until, with one final perfect chord, the sequence locked into place. A hidden alcove opened, revealing an ancient lyre bathed in moonlight. Engraved on it were the first notes of the lullaby of Lumina. We found it, Ilara, Luna said with a mixture of excitement and reverence, carefully cradling the lyre. Ilara beamed, her face illuminated by the soft glow of the nearby crystals. The first piece of the puzzle, with each note we find, we come closer to restoring the moon's light. And so, in the heart of the echoing caverns, the duo had not only unlocked a piece of ancient melody, but had also deepened their bond, proving that in unity, even the most perplexing riddles could be unraveled. As they approached the temple's grand archway, the intricate lunar carvings came alive, as if sensing Luna's presence. 
The crescent moon birthmark on Luna's wrist pulsated, resonating with the temple's energy. I've heard tales of this place, Ilara whispered, her voice filled with awe. It's said that the very walls sing with the wisdom of the ages. Luna nodded, touching one of the temple's walls. As she did so, an ethereal hum enveloped them, a chorus of harmonies resonating from every corner. Navigating the labyrinthine corridors filled with scrolls, artifacts, and age-old instruments, they reached the heart of the library. Here, a grand fresco depicted guardians of old, each holding a fragment of a song. At its center was a depiction of a young maiden, uncannily similar to Luna, her voice merging with the moon. With a spark of realization, Luna approached a peculiar pedestal on which lay a fragmented crystal prism. Beside it was a script detailing the song's division among guardians, as well as hints to their whereabouts. Luna, Ilara began, her finger pointing at one of the fresco sections. This guardian, with the emblem of the tide, I've seen it in the coastal caves. Luna's eyes brightened with hope. Then that's where we'll start. We'll find each guardian, restore the lullaby of Lumina, and bring light back to our moon haven. Ilara smiled, linking her arm with Luna's. Together, she affirmed, ready to embark on this quest of melodies and moonlight. Moonhaven, in all its mystical beauty, had always been a land of wonders, with each corner holding tales whispered down through generations. As Luna cradled the ancient lyre, she began to discern its intricate details. The instrument's engravings depicted various landmarks, the cascading luminous falls, the towering pinnacle peak, the tranquil crescent cove, and the whispering willow woods. Each landmark was tied to a set of musical notes, suggesting a part of the lullaby of Lumina. It appears our journey has just begun, Luna mused, tracing the engravings with her fingers. The lullaby is fragmented, its pieces waiting for us at these landmarks. Ilara, gazing upon the lyre with wonder, replied, It's like a musical map, guiding us to discover Moonhaven's hidden symphony. And to think, these places we visited so often held secrets unbeknownst to us. Luna's grandmother had often spoken of the sacredness of Moonhaven's landmarks, of how the land itself sang its own song. Perhaps, Luna thought, the lullaby of Lumina was not just a song, but an embodiment of Moonhaven's spirit. With newfound determination, Luna said, We'll start with the Luminous Falls, its closest, and I remember tales of its waters singing at midnight. Ilara nodded in agreement. Then let's not delay. Every moment the moon remains eclipsed, the balance of Moonhaven falters. As the duo prepared for their quest, they were buoyed by hope and guided by the ancient rhythms of Moonhaven. Their journey was not just to discover a lost melody, but to reconnect with the very soul of their homeland. Moonhaven's whispering woods was no ordinary forest. Legend had it that the trees here were ancient sentinels, guarding secrets and memories from time immemorial. Each rustle of the leaves, every creak of the branches, carried tales from ages past. It was said that those who listened intently might hear the trees whisper tales of old. Luna and Ilara approached the forest with reverence. Luna, holding the lyre close to her heart, could feel its strings vibrating gently, as if resonating with the woods. As they delved deeper, a soft hum emanated from the trees, echoing the notes they sought. Guided by the gentle glow of fireflies and the soft hoots of owls, their path led to a clearing bathed in moonlight. At its center stood a grand oak, its bark adorned with luminescent symbols. These symbols, Luna whispered, tracing them. They match the lyre's engravings. Ilara, her eyes wide with awe, responded. The tales were true then. This tree is the melody keeper of the whispering woods. But retrieving the melody was not going to be straightforward. The symbols shimmered and shifted, playing a game of hide and seek. Luna closed her eyes and began strumming the lyre, letting its harmonies guide her fingers along the tree's bark. From the shadowy edges of the clearing, woodland creatures gathered, squirrels, deer, and even the elusive moonfox, 
each contributing its own note, its own voice to the unfolding melody. As the final note was revealed, the whispering woods burst into a song of joy, a symphony of unity. The woods had shared its treasured melody, and in doing so, Luna and Ilara felt a profound connection to Moonhaven and its many wonders. The lullaby of Lumina is not just a song, Luna realized. It's the heartbeat of Moonhaven, echoing through every creature, every leaf, every stone. Beyond the whispering woods lay the vast expanse of the moonlit marshes. The very name evoked images of silvery waters shimmering under the moon's gaze and of mysterious creatures lurking beneath its still surface. But, as with many places in Moonhaven, there was more to the marshes than met the eye. The marshes were a labyrinth of waterways and islands, ever shifting and deceptive. Fog often settled over the marshes, playing tricks on the eyes and ears. There were tales of travelers being lured by will-o'-the-wisps, only to be lost forever. The marshes demanded respect. Luna, with the lyre strapped to her back, and Ilara, with a pouch of herbs and potions, ventured forth. The soft squelch of the marsh underfoot, the distant calls of waterfowls, and the gentle lap of water created an eerie melody. Remember grandmother's words, Luna whispered, her voice tinged with unease. The marshes mirror our emotions. If we tread with doubt, they will deceive. But if we walk with purpose and trust, they will guide. Ilara nodded, clutching a vial of moonflower essence. This will help us see the true path, she said, dropping a few luminescent petals into the water. The petals emanated a soft glow, illuminating a safe pathway amidst the treacherous bog. As they progressed, challenges arose. Elusive shadow creatures tried to mislead them, and deceptive reflections showed paths that did not exist. But with every trial, the bond between Luna and Ilara deepened. They sang songs of hope, recited tales of old, and leaned on each other's strengths. At the heart of the marshes, they encountered a large, serene pond. Its surface mirrored the moon perfectly, and in its reflection, Luna saw a sequence of musical notes. The marshes, they're showing us the next part of the melody, Luna exclaimed, playing the notes on her lyre. Ilara smiled. It seems Moonhaven itself aids our quest. And so, with the moonlit marsh's melody etched in her heart, and the lyre, Luna, alongside Alara, continued their journey, their spirits buoyed by the marsh's mystical gift. Upon leaving the moonlit marshes, the two companions ventured into an open meadow, bathed in a soft, milky light. The velvety grass shimmered with dew, and the night blooms opened their petals, releasing intoxicating scents into the air. As Luna and Alara walked, a gentle melody, different from the natural hymns of Moonhaven, wafted towards them. Following the sound, they came upon a quaint, ivy-covered cottage nestled amidst the meadow's flowers. Outside, an old figure sat, cradling a peculiar stringed instrument, fingers dancing over its strings, weaving the mesmerizing tune. Luna, captivated, approached him. Sir, your music, it feels familiar. The old-timer looked up, his eyes deep pools of moonlit knowledge. Ah, young seeker, I wondered when you'd come. You know of me? Luna asked, taken aback. I've lived through many moon cycles, seen many seekers, the hermit replied, his voice like the rustle of old parchment. Moonhaven shares its tales with those who listen. Ilara, ever curious, asked, What instrument is that? I've never seen its like in Moonhaven. The old man chuckled. This? It's an ancient moon harp? Been in my family for generations. Its strings resonate with Moonhaven's heartbeats. Luna hesitated for a moment, then confided their quest, mentioning the scattered notes of the lost melody. Ah. Uh... The hermit nodded. The song to soothe Moonhaven's soul. He strummed a series of notes on his moon harp, producing a sound so pure it felt like liquid moonlight. This, dear Luna, is a part of what you seek. She quickly played the notes on her lyre, its resonance syncing perfectly with the moon harps. Remember, 
the old man whispered, leaning closer. The melody isn't just to be played, it's to be felt, lived. It's the essence of Moonhaven, of every heart that beats under this eternal moonlight. With profound gratitude, Luna and Ilara took their leave. The hermit's wisdom and the haunting notes of the moon harp etched deep in their souls, guiding them onward. Moonhaven, though a land of wonders, was not without its doubters and naysayers. Word of Luna's quest had spread throughout the island, and as she and Alara ventured towards the moonlit peaks, they were intercepted by a group from Moonhaven known as the Cynical Circle. This group, led by a sharp-tongued individual named Darius, had long been wary of the old prophecies and often mocked those who believed in them. Ah, the songbird and her friend, Darius sneered, his voice dripping with sarcasm. Chasing after fairy tales, are we? Luna, taken aback by the unexpected confrontation, tried to defend their mission. We are on a quest to restore Moonhaven's balance. The songs and tales of our ancestors guide us. Darius laughed, a cold, hollow sound. Old tunes and forgotten myths. You believe a simple melody will undo the eclipse? Naive child. Elara, her loyalty fierce, stepped forward. We have seen and experienced the power of the old tales. The lost melody exists, and we have already found parts of it. Members of the cynical circle murmured among themselves. A tall woman with a disdainful air spoke up. And what if you're wrong? What if this quest of yours leads to further instability? Luna, usually so sure, found herself surrounded by seeds of doubt. The weight of the responsibility she bore pressed down on her. I... I believe in the heart of Moonhaven, in the legacy left by our ancestors. Darius smirked. Belief is for dreamers. Moonhaven needs action, not ancient lullabies. The confrontation left Luna and Ilara emotionally drained. As they retreated from the skeptics, Luna's steps, once filled with purpose, now faltered. She sat beneath a silvery willow, tears threatening to fall. Ilara, what if they're right? What if I'm leading us on a wild chase? Ilara, ever the beacon of hope, knelt beside her. Luna, in every quest, there are moments of doubt. Remember the strength of your convictions, the purity of your heart. Moonhaven's very soul is intertwined with yours. Still, the shadows of skepticism loomed large, and Luna's radiant spirit, for the first time, flickered, dimmed by uncertainty. The night deepened, and the silver beams of the Moonhaven moon though slightly dimmed by the eclipse, shimmered on Luna and Ilara. The once harmonious night sounds of Moonhaven felt slightly dissonant, echoing Luna's turmoil. Sitting beneath the willow, Luna closed her eyes, letting the whispers of the past envelop her. She remembered the nights when her grandmother would recount tales of their ancestors, brave souls who faced adversity with unyielding spirit. Their stories weren't just of victories, but also of battles with inner doubts and external challenges. In the depths of her introspection, Luna heard a familiar tune, soft and distant, yet profoundly clear. It was the lullaby of Moonhaven, a song that spoke of hope, resilience, and the eternal cycle of light and darkness. Each note was a memory, a lesson, a guiding star. Ilara watched as Luna, with a newfound determination, began humming along. Her voice, pure and resolute, grew stronger with each note. As the final strains of the lullaby faded, Luna's eyes, now filled with unwavering resolve, met Ilara's. We cannot let doubt cloud our purpose, Luna declared. Our ancestors faced challenges far greater than ours, and their spirit lives on within us. I will not let their legacy or Moonhaven down. With a renewed vigor, the two continued their quest their path illuminated by the unwavering moonlight and the strength of their conviction. As dawn approached, the duo reached the crystal caves, said to house the memory of every Moonhaven dweller. It was here, amid shimmering stalactites and reflecting pools, that Luna, with her voice echoing the ancient songs, discovered the penultimate note of the melody, a sound so hauntingly beautiful that it resonated deep within her soul a testament to Moonhaven's enduring spirit.
Moonhaven, though a land of wonders, was not without its doubters and naysayers. Word of Luna's quest had spread throughout the island, and as she and Alara ventured towards the moonlit peaks, they were intercepted by a group from Moonhaven known as the Cynical Circle. This group, led by a sharp-tongued individual named Darius, had long been wary of the old prophecies and often mocked those who believed in them. Ah, the songbird and her friend, Darius sneered, his voice dripping with sarcasm. Chasing after fairy tales, are we? Luna, taken aback by the unexpected confrontation, tried to defend their mission. We are on a quest to restore Moonhaven's balance. The songs and tales of our ancestors guide us. Darius laughed, a cold, hollow sound. Old tunes and forgotten myths. You believe a simple melody will undo the eclipse? Naive child. Elara, her loyalty fierce, stepped forward. We have seen and experienced the power of the old tales. The lost melody exists, and we have already found parts of it. Members of the cynical circle murmured among themselves. A tall woman with a disdainful air spoke up. And what if you're wrong? What if this quest of yours leads to further instability? Luna, usually so sure, found herself surrounded by seeds of doubt. The weight of the responsibility she bore pressed down on her. I, I believe in the heart of Moonhaven, in the legacy left by our ancestors. Darius smirked. Belief is for dreamers. Moonhaven needs action, not ancient lullabies. The confrontation left Luna and Ilara emotionally drained. As they retreated from the skeptics, Luna's steps, once filled with purpose, now faltered. She sat beneath a silvery willow, tears threatening to fall. Ilara, what if they're right? What if I'm leading us on a wild chase? Ilara, ever the beacon of hope, knelt beside her. Luna, in every quest, there are moments of doubt. Remember the strength of your convictions, the purity of your heart. Moonhaven's very soul is intertwined with yours. Still, the shadows of skepticism loomed large, and Luna's radiant spirit, for the first time, flickered, dimmed by uncertainty. The night deepened, and the silver beams of the Moonhaven moon, though slightly dimmed by the eclipse, shimmered on Luna and Ilara. The once harmonious night sounds of Moonhaven felt slightly dissonant, echoing Luna's turmoil. Sitting beneath the willow, Luna closed her eyes, letting the whispers of the past envelop her. She remembered the nights when her grandmother would recount tales of their ancestors, brave souls who faced adversity with unyielding spirit. Their stories weren't just of victories, but also of battles with inner doubts and external challenges. In the depths of her introspection, Luna heard a familiar tune, soft and distant, yet profoundly clear. It was the lullaby of Moonhaven, a song that spoke of hope, resilience, and the eternal cycle of light and darkness. Each note was a memory, a lesson, a guiding star. Elara watched as Luna, with a newfound determination, began humming along. Her voice, pure and resolute, grew stronger with each note. As the final strains of the lullaby faded, Luna's eyes, now filled with unwavering resolve, met Elara's. We cannot let doubt cloud our purpose, Luna declared. Our ancestors faced challenges far greater than ours, and their spirit lives on within us. I will not let their legacy or Moonhaven down. With a renewed vigor, the two continued their quest, their path illuminated by the unwavering moonlight and the strength of their conviction. As dawn approached, the duo reached the crystal caves, said to house the memory of every Moonhaven dweller. It was here, amid shimmering stalactites and reflecting pools, that Luna, with her voice echoing the ancient songs, discovered the penultimate note of the melody, a sound so hauntingly beautiful that it resonated deep within her soul, a testament to Moonhaven's enduring spirit. Moonhaven, with all its ethereal charm, had many wonders, but none so fabled as the luminous lagoon. Luna had heard tales of its splendor, but no description, no matter how poetic, could truly capture its essence. The lagoon was nestled in a secluded vale, shielded by a cascade of willow trees, their branches swaying like nature's own curtain. 
the water's surface shimmered in iridescent hues, painting the surroundings with reflections of the moon and stars, almost making them dance in a silent ballet. Upon reaching its banks, Luna felt an inexplicable connection. It was as if the very waters called to her, recognizing the melody she was striving to complete. In the distance, a lone silver crane, a guardian of the lagoon, observed them, its eyes mirroring the age-old wisdom of Moonhaven. Ilara, always protective, whispered, This is it, Luna, the heart of our land, and perhaps the key to restoring its glory. Kneeling by the water, Luna gently dipped her fingers in. The lagoon responded with ripples of light, each radiating outwards, carrying with it memories, dreams, and the hopes of generations. It was in this silent communion that Luna felt a familiar thrum, the missing note, the finale to her melody. As she began to sing, her voice blending seamlessly with the song of the lagoon, the water's glow intensified, and the entire veil seemed to hold its breath. This was the moment of reckoning, a symphony of nature, history, and one young maiden's undying spirit. The luminous lagoon was not just Moonhaven's heart, it was its soul. Moonhaven, with all its ethereal charm, had many wonders, but none so fabled as the luminous lagoon. Luna had heard tales of its splendor, but no description, no matter how poetic, could truly capture its essence. The lagoon was nestled in a secluded vale, shielded by a cascade of willow trees, their branches swaying like nature's own curtain. The water's surface shimmered in iridescent hues, painting the surroundings with reflections of the moon and stars, almost making them dance in a silent ballet. Upon reaching its banks, Luna felt an inexplicable connection. It was as if the very waters called to her, recognizing the melody she was striving to complete. In the distance, a lone silver crane, a guardian of the lagoon, observed them, its eyes mirroring the age-old wisdom of Moonhaven. Ilara, always protective, whispered, This is it, Luna, the heart of our land, and perhaps the key to restoring its glory. Kneeling by the water, Luna gently dipped her fingers in. The lagoon responded with ripples of light, each radiating outwards, carrying with it memories, dreams, and the hopes of generations. It was in this silent communion that Luna felt a familiar thrum, the missing note, the finale to her melody. As she began to sing, her voice blending seamlessly with the song of the lagoon, the water's glow intensified, and the entire veil seemed to hold its breath. This was the moment of reckoning, a symphony of nature, history, and one young maiden's undying spirit. The luminous lagoon was not just Moonhaven's heart, it was its soul. The final note, now in her possession, was the very essence of unity. It tied every other note together. Luna felt the weight and honor of the task ahead as she carefully studied each fragment of the melody. The challenge now was not just about knowing the notes, but understanding their profound connection. In a secluded clearing, Luna began practicing, weaving together the disparate musical fragments she had gathered during her quest. With each attempt, the notes started flowing more smoothly, resonating harmoniously with the very air of Moonhaven. Ilara, ever her diligent companion, provided soft rhythms with a hand drum, helping the notes merge into a single harmonious entity. News of Luna's quest and her impending performance spread like wildfire throughout Moonhaven. The islanders, filled with a mix of anticipation and hope, began to gather at the town's heart, forming a large circle around the historic Moonstone podium. As Luna approached the podium, she could feel the collective energy of her people, some skeptical, some hopeful, but all waiting. With a deep breath, she began to sing, her voice carrying the weight of history and hope. The melody was enchanting, filled with sorrow, joy, challenges, and the undying spirit of Moonhaven. The very ground seemed to hum along, and the luminosity of the surroundings grew brighter with each note. The shadows cast by the eclipse began to recede, and a gentle glow enveloped the town, restoring its moonlit splendor. It was not just a song, it was Moonhaven's heart and soul echoing through Luna's voice, 
a testament to the island's legacy and the unyielding spirit of its people. The entire community of Moonhaven now assembled around the Moonstone podium, each resident drawn by the powerful and enchanting melody emanating from Luna. Elders, children, craftsmen, scholars, and even the once skeptical, all congregated with bated breath, their faces reflecting a spectrum of emotions, hope, anticipation, nostalgia, and unity. Tales had always spoken of Moonhaven's unique magic being drawn from the combined spirit of its people. Now, in Luna's most crucial moment, the islanders began to sing along. Softly at first, their voices a mere whisper. But slowly, as if gaining strength from one another, the chorus grew, creating a harmonic resonance that melded perfectly with Luna's melody. Liam, Luna's devoted father, took the lead in rallying the community. With tears in his eyes, pride evident in every feature, he began to sing louder, encouraging others to join in. Ilara's voice seamlessly interwove with the growing ensemble, adding depth and richness. Every resident of Moonhaven, regardless of their past beliefs, now stood together, unified in song and spirit. The unity was palpable. It was as if the island itself recognized the collective heart of its inhabitants. The moon, sensing the collective yearning and hope, began to shine brighter, dispelling the lingering darkness and bathing Moonhaven in its fullest, most radiant glow. Amidst the chorus of voices, Luna felt an overwhelming warmth, a connection to every soul in Moonhaven. Their shared melody, their united hope, was the true essence of the island, a testament to the power of unity, faith, an unwavering spirit. As Luna stood at the heart of Moonhaven, she took a deep breath, holding the flute given to her by her grandmother close to her heart. She closed her eyes, drawing inspiration from the memories of the quest she undertook, the wisdom she gained, and the collective spirit of Moonhaven that surrounded her. With the first haunting note, a profound silence enveloped the island, as if nature itself paused to listen. The flute's tune was tender at first, echoing the uncertainties and challenges Luna faced. Yet with each progression, it gained strength, mirroring her journey and resolve. The song weaved through highs and lows, moving seamlessly from delicate whispers of moonlit nights to powerful crescendos that captured the island's enduring spirit. As the melody flowed, the once dim moon started responding. Its light began to pierce through the lingering eclipse, casting shimmering beams down upon Moonhaven. Residents of the island, who were earlier lending their voices, now stood in awed silence, captivated by Luna's performance. Each note touched their souls, evoking emotions of hope, nostalgia, and redemption. Young and old, they felt the embrace of the moonlight, its luminosity, healing old wounds and dispelling doubts. In the distance, Moonhaven's creatures, the luminous fireflies, majestic moonlit owls, and even the elusive moonshade foxes, gathered, entranced by the melody that seemed to bridge the gap between nature and mankind. As Luna approached the song's climax, she poured all her love, hope, and gratitude into her flute. And when the final note resonated, it was as if time stood still. The once obscured moon now shone at its fullest, its radiant light cascading down, bathing the entire island in a silvery glow. The shadows that had threatened Moonhaven were no more. In their place was an island reborn in brilliance, a community united, and a young girl whose music had healed both the moon and the hearts of her people. In the aftermath of Luna's performance, the island of Moonhaven seemed to be reborn. The luminous flora seemed to glow even brighter, and the fauna moved with an enhanced vitality. Laughter, joy, and music echoed through the streets as families danced under the rejuvenated moonlight, and children played with moonlit fireflies. But amidst the celebrations, a profound realization spread across the island's inhabitants. It wasn't just the prophecy that had led them to this moment of redemption. It was the essence of what Luna had come to represent, the unwavering faith in oneself, the strength drawn from one's heritage, 
and the relentless pursuit of harmony and balance. Elders approached Luna, their eyes glistening with tears of gratitude. It was said that the prophecy would reveal the one who'd restore our island, one said, her voice filled with emotion. But what it didn't mention was how she'd teach us the true meaning of unity, perseverance, and faith. Children with stars in their eyes gathered around Luna, seeking tales of her journey. Parents listened intently, realizing the moral they could impart to their young ones. The true essence of Moonhaven wasn't just in its eternal moonlight, but in cherishing one's roots, fostering unity, and facing adversities with courage and hope. As the night turned to dawn, Luna, with her family by her side, looked out at the flourishing island. She had started her journey with a sense of duty, but had come to realize the profound impact of individual actions on a community. The beating heart of Moonhaven wasn't just its moon, but the collective spirit of its people, who now understood that embracing their legacy, nurturing love, and facing challenges head on was the real path to enlightenment and harmony. The story concludes with a rejuvenated Moonhaven that wasn't just harmonious in its external beauty, but in the hearts and souls of its people. Luna's legacy was more than just fulfilling a prophecy. It was about igniting a flame of faith, unity, and perseverance that would guide generations to come.